So they want to build that perception that they're settling claims, etc. So it's likely that they will be less stringent when Absolutely. considering these claims. And now I'm thinking, mm -hmm. because HDFC has such a massive client base, mm -hmm. you should generally see higher complaints coming simply by right. virtue of them tending to pretty much every market in India. But at the end of the day, let's not forget that it is a regulated industry. Correct. IRD has set guidelines and yeah. all companies tend to follow similar reasons for rejection. I think this is true for most industries where any new player comes in at a slightly lower yeah. cost trying to sort of establish themselves. Hey guys, we're back again with a new video. This time we're making a three-way comparison between three products that we've already reviewed in the past. Now, the reason why we're doing this comparison is very simple. It's because product reviews focus solely on the product. And maybe in between, we'll probably talk about comparison between different brands, but comparisons mainly focus on which company does better on what fronts and what product features are better for specific customers. So in this video, we'll be talking about three products that are extremely popular at Ditto, which is ICICI Prudential's iProtect Smart, HDFC Life's Click to Protect Super, and finally we have Max Life Smart Secure Plus. So let's get straight to it, Sushant. Give me a brief, right? When mm -hmm. it comes to the companies, even before we talk about the products themselves, mm -hmm. Which company mm -hmm. fares better? Is it ICICI Pro? Is it HDFC Life or is it Max Life? So here it would depend on what factors I'm evaluating. Right. If I were to firstly start with their annual business, right? right? Simply talking about the scale of operation at which they kind of work. Um, HDFC would take the cake there. Right. They are the largest at the end of the day. Right followed by ICIC Prudential okay. and third would be Max Life. Right. Now this is solely, like I said, based on market share and the kind of volume of business they're doing. And is it also based on perception because HDFC is HDFC, you know, okay, okay ICIC also has a good brand name and Max right. Life probably is getting there. Mm -hmm. But again, HDFC is HDFC, right? right? Does it also play into the minds of consumers and as advisors mm -hmm. when you suggest policies to people? Right. Maybe from an advisory point of view, not so much. Okay. But I think, yes, we're talking purely from a numbers point of view. Right. And I think it's fair to say that happened because of the perception out there. Correct. HDFC being the largest and having the most reputation, yeah. ended up acquiring the most amount of market share, yeah. right? Yeah. Building that kind of trust. And they also have, you know, their banking network is, is so massive that True. they can probably sell insurance policies through yeah. these channels as opposed Absolutely. to you know, a max life for an ICIC, they may not have such a robust channel. That also plays into, you Absolutely. know, this fact as well, I suppose. Yep. Yeah, um, That's one factor. Uh, right. We also looked at, if I were to talk about settlement rates now, Right. Um, if I were to look at claim settlement ratio, okay. which is for every 100 claims filed for, how many claims are settled, right? Got Purely it. on the basis of number of claims. Okay. There you have max life taking the cake. Wow. Right, being about 99 plus even. You right. know, every year it's 99.4, 99.6, they're constantly right. on the rise. Right. Uh, followed by HDFC Life okay. and ICIC would be third. Right. Now here a plus minus 1% does happen every year, okay. but all three are well above the industry average. Okay, I have a question here. Mm -hmm. Considering the scale of Max Life, you've said mm -hmm. that it's not as big as the other players. Mm -hmm. Could it be the reason that their claim settlement ratio is so high? Mm -hmm. Because right now they're not at that scale yet. Maybe once they start going into, you know, tier two, tier three cities or venturing into some of these places mm -hmm. where perhaps more claims of a slightly, you know, where, where they have to do more evaluation when it comes right. to evaluating claims, etc. Mm -hmm. And maybe profitability becomes a concern. Do you right. think that these numbers may turn worse or maybe, you know, tend towards 98, 99 as opposed to 99 plus? I think there's a lot of moving parts here, right? It right. also depends on, like you rightly said, the kind of clientele they're dealing with, the yeah. kind of investigation and evaluation they have to do. Right. But at the end of the day, let's not forget that it is a regulated industry. Correct. IRD has set guidelines and yeah. all companies tend to follow similar reasons for rejection. Right, right. So I think that could be one factor as right. well. Um, lastly, another trend we've seen in the insurance sector is that newer companies tend to settle claims a lot more, you know, uh, Willingly, right? Yeah. I would say, trying okay. to boost their numbers and acquire that share. Got it. They're really trying to build. So it's a, a name perception for themselves. thing. Yeah? It's a perception at the end. Right, of the day. right. So they want to build that perception that yeah. they're settling claims, etc. Yeah. So it's likely that they will be less stringent when Absolutely. considering these claims. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, but another number that we focus here is the amount settlement ratio. Because True. yes, granted, you could settle <laughs> 99 claims out of 100, but if that one claim you're rejecting is the 10 right. crore high value claim, mm -hmm. yep. right, that's problematic. So you want to see what's the total amount settled versus yep. the total amount claimed, right? True. So 100 rupees claimed, how much are you settling, right? right. So who comes on top there? There it's max life. I right. think it's about 95% even. It okay. used to be 94 the previous year, but this year they moved up to 95. Okay. 
followed so, by an ICICI and yeah. third would be HDFC. Yeah, so clearly on the settlement ratio, Max mm -hmm. Life is on top. But what about the complaints? I mean, right. is that something where again Max Life comes on top mm -hmm. or do we have other players that sort of trump Max Life on this front? There you have HDFC leading the show, right? Oh, there are about two or three complaints for every 10,000. Right. Max is at about seven or so and ICICI would be 10, 15 see, is the average. See, this is again counterintuitive for me because now I'm thinking mm -hmm. because HDFC has such a massive client mm -hmm. base, mm -hmm. you should generally see higher complaints coming simply by right. virtue of you know them tending to pretty much every market in India, right? True. Um, but you're saying that they, they still do exceedingly well there, right? Yep. Um, so, so yeah, that was very interesting. Um, but okay, so, so that gives me a basic gist of the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So strictly from an insurer perspective right mm -hmm. now, if I'm going for brand recognition and I want somebody yeah. I can trust, mm -hmm. you'd probably go with HDFC. HDFC. Okay, fair yes. enough. HDFC life. Okay, perception aside, if you're strictly talking about the numbers, then who do you go with? Who's the best insurer out of the three? I think there, then it's Max Life. It's Max Life. Simply because of the claim settlement ratio. And the amount settlement as well. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Um, got it. Now let's talk about the product because it's not just about the insurance company, it's also right. about the products themselves, the features, the competitiveness in terms of pricing and also some of the add-ons that these companies offer or the products offer. Right. So let's talk about that, right? Mm -hmm. We have iProtect Smart, mm -hmm. we have Smart Secure Plus from MaxLife yep. and we have HDFC Life's Click to Protect Super, yep. right? What features, where do they trump each other and who comes out on top at the end of it? Right, so here I think if it's in a basic term insurance, just right. a pure simple term plan, right. they're all three pretty much the same, right? right. There's not much major difference. Yeah. Uh, I think add-ons is where you really see the difference and you find someone taking the edge over the other. Got it. Um, there if I had to start with, let's say one add-on called waiver of premium. Got it. Which is in case there's a critical illness like cancer, heart attack or a permanent disability to, due to an accident, right? right? Where you lose limbs and so on. Um, in that situation, you don't need to pay your premiums any further. Okay. okay. Now, these scenarios are clearly listed. Every right. company gives you a list of critical illnesses and disabilities that they talk about. Okay. Their HDFC is a clear winner, right? Okay. They have the most comprehensive list I've come across, which right. has about 60 critical illnesses, okay. right? Where this scenario would kick in and you don't need to pay your premiums. Got it. MaxLife comes in at a second there. They mm. cover about 11 illnesses and four or five disabilities, which is not bad. It's mm. a very basic, simple list. And ICC would be third there, covering only disability. Check. Now, ICC does offer this for free, while the other two charge you for it. But Check. nonetheless, it's not as comprehensive as the others. Right, right, right. Moving to the criticalness rider now. Right. So, very close call between HDFC and Max Life. Okay. Right, the criticalness rider, where you get to choose an amount that, in case I'm diagnosed with a critical illness, I want to pay out of 20 lakhs, 30 lakhs, and so on. Got it. All right. right. Um, here, HDFC and Max are quite close because they both offer two variants. Uh, Max Life being 22 diseases and 64 diseases okay. and HDFC offering me 19 diseases and 60 diseases. Right, so I right, can choose right. which one based on my budget. Right. So it's a pretty close call, right? It's, right. it's tough to pick one. Okay. Um, and ICAC once again coming in somewhere in between at about 34 illnesses. Got it. Got it. Um, so, so if you want maximum coverage for critical illness and you're somebody who's specifically looking to customize your plan to mm -hmm. tend towards, you know, critical illness issues, right. then maybe it's between HDFC between and Between these two. It helps you shortlist. Right got there. it. Got it. Got it. Um, coming to the free add-ons, I think it's pretty much the same everywhere, right? right? They all offer terminal illness benefit. Right. Where in case you have less than six months left to live, they'll still pay out the money. Right. Uh, they offer the early exit of the zero cost term plan. All right. three of them have it with their, you know, individual terms and conditions. Okay. Um, coming to, I think, types of term insurance where you have, you know, the option to increase your cover in the future or an increasing sum insured plan where Got every it. year your term plan increases. Right, right. Um, or a plan where HDFC is a bit unique, they're saying we'll decrease your term insurance as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, that's a unique feature, uh, right? That's where a bit unique with HDFC yeah, where they're yeah. the only ones offering a decrease one, whereas yeah. ICICA has nothing there, right? Yeah, they yeah. don't give you any option. Max Life does it? Does it Max offer? Life does, they do have an increasing sum insured plan. But decreasing? Nothing. Decreasing, there's nothing. Got it. On that Got front it. either. All and right. HDFC has both, right? Increasing right. and decreasing. Right, right, right. Um, so that's a bit interesting too. Right, right, right. Um, other than that, the basic ones like accidental death benefit offered by all of them, Got where it. you get a higher payout in the event of an accident. Got it. Um, in terms of accident disability benefit, once again, HDFC would be a winner there. Right, right. They do have a unique rider where they give you monthly income for 10 years in case you're severely disabled due to an accident. Right, right, right. Um, Max Life has a combo with their critical illness that I can choose it along with my critical illness. I can also cover disability ah. within the same rider itself. Okay, okay. So, so you get the critical illness payouts for disabilities as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Just right. a slightly instead of 22, it becomes 23. Right. Got they just it. cover one more thing in that list. Got it. Got and ICC it. doesn't have any option here. Right, right, right. Um, so, so I think, yeah. 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 So, so from a product feature, it seems to me that 
HDFC Life has a lot of customizable options with right. its uh, click to protect mm -hmm. super plan. And Max Life also is is in the similar this thing. But if you had to give an edge between HDFC, right. you know, click to protect super and Max Life Smart mm -hmm. Secure Plus, which one would it be? I think based purely on riders, I would still say HDFC is a winner there. Right, right. right having those it. one or two extra that Max does it. Got it, um, got it. And having the same ones as Max, but offering a more comprehensive coverage. Okay, got it. Got like it. the waiver of premium, like we discussed. Right, right. And ultimately, I think it also boils down to what the customer wants. Like if the customer says, look, I, I, I really like this decreasing cover feature or let's say I like the flexibility offered by Max with mm -hmm. its zero cost options, right? right? Where you extend the premiums back mm -hmm. if say, for example, I survive and, ref, you know, and decide to surrender my plan. Right. Um, so I think in these occasions, it depends on what the customer is looking for than just True. a blanket statement saying that this is better or that is better. But, but yeah, from a feature point, um, I think when you look at the riders, you see that HDFC really is sort of upping its game and offering features that True. perhaps not a lot of other insurance companies are offering. Um, do any of these companies offer joint account options um, mm -hmm. where, where both the uh, husband and the wife can mm -hmm. sort of enroll in the same plan and both get, get coverage mm -hmm. if one of them were to, you know, uh, be affected, you know, right. in any way, right? right? Uh, um, again, HDFC and Max both offer it, right? Making right. them more and more competitive with each other. Right, right, right. They both have the option where within the same plan, you can also insure your spouse. Got it, got um, it. Now, do note that this comes with limits. Right, right The husband right. can only buy up to a certain amount and his right. wife can, he can only buy about 50 lakhs or so for his spouse. Got it, got um, it. And there are conditions on death of one person first, then the others kicks in and so on. Yeah, so, basically, we, we, we wouldn't, you know, probably not look at right. that feature too much because True. we usually recommend people to buy separate term plans. Absolutely. Right? If you're um, both earning, then it makes sense to get it separate. Makes sense. Right, and right. in case your spouse is not earning, then right. all three of them offer a housewife term plan. Ah, okay, okay. Where you as an individual can purchase a plan for your working spouse, right? Okay. You're, your non-working spouse. Non-working spouse. Your but is it only limited to housewives and not, you know, maybe there's a homemaker who's the husband, when the husband right. is the homemaker. Is there an right. option like that? Unfortunately, no. I think these guys specifically call it the housewife term insurance and not yeah, a homemaker term insurance. Maybe things will change. I think this Hopefully. is a discussion that we've yep. been having with Ditto to make it available for sort of, you know, um, uh, spouses of, of both genders, yep. right? So. Cool. I think hopefully we will see this happening in the near future. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's with the features. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the premiums, right? right? Because ultimately, look, term plan is a commodity. If I'm looking mm -hmm. for a basic plain vanilla term plan where I'm covered for my death, and that's right. about it. TK, mm -hmm. the frills are nice, the critical illness benefit could come in mm -hmm. handy, but really what I'm looking for is the death benefit. Right. All I ultimately care for is the premiums because like you said, the claim settlement numbers, the volume of complaints, mm -hmm. etc. They're, they're about, they're roughly yeah. the same. Maybe, you know, you could you know, you could be nitpicky and say, okay, this one is slightly better, mm -hmm. but not a lot of difference. Okay. Ultimately, I think the difference comes down to this one simple metric, which is premiums. Okay. So in terms of premiums, right, who leads the pack in that, who offers the most competitive rates to consumers? Right. There, I think the clear answer is Max Life. Right. Okay. And I think once again, what we discussed right in the beginning, right, right. that being a slightly smaller player, right. uh, there you can clearly tell with the way they're marketing themselves, the way they settle claims and the, with the way they've priced themselves in the market. Right. Okay. Right. Their intention is to acquire more market share and build a name for themselves. Makes sense. Yeah. And I think this is true for most industries where any new player comes in at a slightly lower yeah. cost, trying to sort of establish themselves. Right. 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 And that's something that Max Life is clearly doing. Right. But any other profile, specifically women, smokers, etc., mm -hmm. where other companies come out on top where other products come mm -hmm. out on top? I think if I were to look at smokers, then yes, HDFC would obviously be much more expensive. Right, right. Um, so the competition is now between ICIC and Max Life. Right, right. Quite similarly priced. Right. For women, I think all three are the same. There's right. just a slightly lower premium that they charge for women. Right, right. Considering the longer life expectancy. Got it. And we are discussing life insurance at the end of the yeah. day. Um, but I think, yeah, that's about it. And in terms of higher sum insured as well, okay. sometimes it's ICICI being the best. Okay. All but right. you know, you're talking about cover amounts of greater than five crores, then yes, okay. ICIC tends to be the lowest. Got it. I think this leads me to my next question, which is, all right, fair enough. We've looked at the premiums, we've looked at the features, we looked at the companies themselves, mm -hmm. but is there a use case for each product, right? Can, right? can there be a situation where you're saying, I'm going to recommend Max Life Smart Secure Plus to this individual, I'm mm -hmm. going to recommend Click to Protect Super to this individual, and finally, mm -hmm. I protect Smart to another individual. Right. Are there any use cases where you could clearly say, this product is for this person? Or do you simply say, no, no, I, I don't think there is such a distinction. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, I'll have to get a lot more information before I even make such an assertion. What's your take on that? 
I think here it would be the second part, like you said, right? It's, right. it's not specific to certain profiles. Right. Um, I would personally need to understand the profile a bit more before recommending, and right. it also comes down to a customer preference. Right. 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 Some people purely want the prestige of HDFC, and they don't mind paying a bit more for it. Got it. Um, some, and for the most part, people are a bit price sensitive. Right. And they're happy with the numbers on paper, so Max Life is a winner for them. Correct. Correct. Right? That correct. look, the premiums are competitive on paper. They have the best settlement rates, so I get the most peace of mind. Right. 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 And that's fair. Right. It's not an unfair sort of uh, assumption or choice that they're making. Got it. Um, and for someone who doesn't want any riders at all, I do try and suggest ICICI. Right. Right. Because their base plan comes inbuilt with one or two add-ons. Makes sense. Like yeah. waiver of premium, for example. Yeah. An add-on that Ditto says is quite essential to have in your plan. Right, right. While ICC is not covering it comprehensively, right. they are covering just disability in their waiver of premium. Right. But it's still something. They still offer it for free. Yeah. Right? And, and comes higher in covers in as well. You said that Absolutely. you know its prices can be competitive at those higher covers. Mm -hmm. So strictly from a consumer point of view, I think it then boils down to price and obviously yeah. what you're looking for in terms of features. True. Maybe you can pick and choose depending on, on what you want. Yeah. Um, fair enough. I think this conversation was extremely insightful, Sushant, and thank you for having this conversation with us. And for all of you who are still watching this video, please make sure that if you are buying a term insurance plan and if you are considering these three options that we have discussed in the video, book a call with one of our advisors at Ditto. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and just go on the website, click book a free call health term insurance and considering we're talking about term insurance you'll probably select term insurance we'll assign an advisor for you and they'll take care of everything they'll probably get a thorough understanding of your profile and they'll be able to suggest specifically what policies suit you best so yeah make sure you do that and also if you're still watching this video leave a like on this video leave a comment and subscribe to this channel because we'll be coming up with more comparisons more useful videos that hopefully everybody can make use of. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel and like always, thank you for watching this video. Until then, happy insurance hunting.